So, you know, as we move into the future, I, I always start to kind of wonder as we take this on a little bit of, well, what do other health professions do in this regard? And, you know, I think about what our primary care physicians and, you know, other folks that are non-rehabilitation professionals do, you know, for their, their patients. And I think about nowadays, I mean, you can go to any kind of pharma, pharmacy uh, store, you know, and pick up a, an automated, you know, blood pressure cuff that you can measure your blood pressure accurately at home. You know, same thing with your blood sugar, with a, with a glucometer, you know, you can track those things. And when COVID-19 was at its height, I mean, we, self screens with COVID screens were, 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 were very common. So I just think about like, all right, self screening and self monitoring and the patient almost being able to uh, do this on their own without the professional, without waiting for an appointment or, you know, as their kind of first pass at seeing, do I, do I have issues that I need to go and get checked up or am I okay? And, and I think the, 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 the self screens really resonate to me. And, and I think that's where I've seen the the literature move with movement uh, with movement is how can we create a self screen and what's interesting is uh, it helps really you know get people in the door sooner if they need it right I mean can imagine a day when all your patients you know could come and get help before they had that ACL tear before they had low back pain before they had surgery right like you would just love that as a clinician being able to see people before they're having major pain or major injury and work on risk factors and work on tweaking their programming. And, and hopefully, you know, a lot of those people never have that major injury because of that, right? That would, that would, be, that would be a phenomenal day, right? And where we've kind of moved a little bit is starting to go down the path of the Simeo application. I know you mentioned the Simeo uh, application a little bit earlier, uh, but this is an app-based uh, program. You can use it on a phone or a tablet. And what's great about it is it's got video guided instruction and that, that the patient can really just follow along with several different movement patterns and it will help score them. Is it you know, kind of pass fail or do they have pain? So this, the scoring is very simplistic and user friendly, not as you know, kind of comprehensive as sometimes an FMS screen or an SFMA top tier can be. Right. But these are very, uh, you know, uh, straightforward pass fail markers uh, that they can hit. And in, in this in this particular study, looking at it, we, we kind of looked at the reliability and the validity of it. And, you know, really patients that were just off the street, you know, for folks that participate in this study, you know, they didn't have any medical training. They've never had never been exposed or trained on the app before. They just came in and we handed them the, the tablet and said, OK, follow the instructions. We're not going to say a thing. And they screen themselves. And now we had someone in the background, a movement um, specialist, screening them at the same time. They didn't talk to each other. Uh, but lo and behold, they found very similar results. It was a very reliable process. If the patient just followed along with the video guided instructions, they got the same results as an expert. 